How's it going? It's a bit windy here today, so I hope this turns out all right. Um, time for a bit of an update on the front garden. It's been a couple of weeks and we've had some rather impressive growth, so I thought I'd bring you along and give you a bit of a look. Just up here with the asparagus, it's bouncing back now. It's got the bed all to itself. We're getting some new spears come through. Um, all the beds along the front here actually need a good liquid feed and maybe some top, top dress with some castings if I've got enough. So hopefully they'll bounce back a little bit better. These guys here in the middle are doing really well. Loads of seeds forming on these asparagus, so we'll be able to collect some of them hopefully. The corn. Well, the corn is very impressive. That's the Aztec corn. It's well up over the fence now, probably about two foot or 60 centimetres over the top of the fence. Most impressive, probably taller than I. I'm about six-ish. So I'm really, really happy. We're starting to get the tassels on them. As you can see up in there, starting to get some tassels. And the other day I noticed we're starting to get, if I can fight my way through, some silks come through. So there's about half a dozen silks spread through the whole IBC. So hopefully we're going to end up with a nice lot of corn from this guy. All well, these guys, gals. So really impressed with that. The kiwis are doing well. We've got a nice one there. Another one down here. A couple more actually down there. So really impressed with the way the kiwis are going shaded under the corn. No wilt on those guys whatsoever. A bit loud there under the corn. Next bed over is our yakon with the mini lee or yellow ship or watermelon. I forget which type they are. The Akon's put on some great growth, really impressed with that. Uh, little side shoots from the bottom. But the idea is this pumpkin will probably die off uh, before the Akon's ready. So <laughs> it'll, the bed will get a bit of a reprieve and get a few more nutrients. I'm actually going to limit this plant to about seven or so pumpkins, then just um, let them mature and cull the plant. Here I've taken away the couple of hay bales here and I've used them in a large compost pile I'm making out the back. Down here, the seed potatoes weren't much chop. Uh, I think what was happening is as the sprouts, the shoots were coming through, they were getting burnt off by the sun. We've had a really harsh spring here, or harsher than most years. So what I've done is I've planted out some potatoes that have gone to seed in the pantry. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. I've left the um, seed ones in there. The potatoes are still firm, but every time the shoots come through the surface, they're just dying off. So we'll just wait and see what happens with them. Um, this part here of the pumpkin is going to get the chop because all the fruit that is set on these two vines is died off. So we're just going to chop this bit, bit off and that hopefully will give a bit more vigour to these vines over here. We've got half a dozen or so pumpkins um, set on these vines. Just to give you an idea of the two largest ones, there's one there and the others over there. And yeah, they're a nice sized pumpkin. They look like Jarendales. We The only pumpkins we've grown lately are the Jarendales and the Kents. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the Jarendales. Just popped up from the worm cast. Uh, the watermelons. Just down in there, there's our first little watermelon. And then over the back there, we have another one. And I know there's another one growing between the retaining wall and the back of the IBC. So mighty pleased with that. Um, Kira's bed. Hello, Kira. Her arm's nearly better. It's not always in the sling now, by the way. Kira found, made a little discovery just before down here. Oh, what have you found? Down in there, rock she has melon. a rock melon. And I found another one up here. There's an, oh, sweet. That's really good. Looks like it's going to be the year of melons for us. And I got little ones off of it. You got little one? Little ones off of it. Little ones. Oh, there we go. Just down in there. So what about, how's everything else in there going? What about your sunflowers? Let's see if we can blind some people. Oh, they're tall. We'll go out the front and do a bit of a clip in a, at the end. But what have we got down in there? A bean. We've got bean? So we've got beans on there. So we're going to have to try and fight our way through there and try and harvest a couple, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to need a little time. Yes, we're going to need to um, be very delicate. And what about your carrots? How are your carrots looking? Have you checked out the base of them? Yeah. Oh, it's leaves, leaves everywhere. So much greenery. Oh yeah, they're forming up nicely. I don't think they're... There's another rock melon. There's another two rock melons down in here, Kira. Eee! Wow! Rock and melons, as you can rock see... Melons, rock melons, rock melons. <laughs> she likes the rock melons. As you can see, we're getting a fair bit of the powdery mildew. So I'm going to come through and spray some potassium bicarbonate on that. Um, the brand we're using is Eco Rose, but you can also make up a, a fungal spray, um, anti-mildew spray, 
out of baking soda and oils and liquid soap. I'll put a, actually a bit of a, a recipe down in the description for that. Um, over here, more beans, long more arms, carrots, short legs. long arm, short legs. <laughs> more beans. Oh, there's some flowers down in there. So it's doing really good. I'm happy with it. Are you happy with it? Yes. Oh, over the middle here, we have a spaghetti squash. I've got another bean. Another bean. You can eat him now. We've got a spaghetti squash that's come from this bed here. This bed here is the Stars and Moon Watermelon with spaghetti squash and yakon. As you can see, the yakon's doing really well. Trying not to tread on a pumpkin vine here. And this Stars and Moons is, is starting to pump out some growth as well. It's got a very pretty leaf. The first time I saw these leaves, I thought they'd been hit by a powdery mildew or a mildew on the underside, but no, it's just the coloration of the leaves. And down here, the spaghetti squash. It's doing rather well, only male flowers so far, so I'm really, really impressed though. This, this is just a jungle. I'll give you a look from this side back. It's, it's very impressive, I think. Um, I would never have dreamt that much growth from these IBCs. But like I said before, the thing I've got to be careful about now is keeping the food up to them, the nutrients up to them. There's a lot of nutrients being sucked out by this pumpkin. That's just one plant, by the way and a lot also by that corn so it's something we're really going to have to pay attention to just here in the ginger bed I found the tips of the ginger were burning a bit so what I've done is just put some excess 30% um, percent shade cloth over the top here it's just zip tied to the fence and to the edge of the IBC down there and as you can see we have some ginger that has sprouted this is our own ginger and just here I'll show you what I mean these guys came through and died off. I think it was just a really hot day. But I have had a little bit of an excavation down there and there are new shoots on their way. Same with this one. This one did the same thing. He died off. And there's a new shoot that came through. Actually, he looks like he's a bit cooked as well. That one over there looks like a goer. And over the back here, I noticed that some of the sh um, bits that Jeff gave us, Mugsy Jeff, thank you Jeff, have decided to shoot at long last. There's another one. We'll see if we can unearth him. There he is just there, so I'm pretty impressed with that. The turmeric bed actually might get planted out today. I'm not too sure yet. I'll see how much time I've got. So overall, really impressed. What do you think, Koo, about yours? Yeah, yeah. So are you glad you had a better dig around today and you found those rock melons? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll go for a wander out the front. So just out the front here now, and there's a bit of a look at the corn. That fence is about five foot, and that's a good three foot over the top of that. So, and as you can see, there's loads of tassels on there now. Mighty impressed with that. And over here we have Kira's sunflowers. And they've got heads on them. Flower heads are forming and we've noticed that they've been following the sun, haven't we? Mm -hmm. When we pull up in the morning after dropping off Bianca, they're pointing that way. And then in the afternoon, like now, they're pointing to the west where the sun is setting. So that's really cool, hey Koo? Mm -hmm. So I'm most impressed with the way these things are going. Definitely lets the neighborhood know that you can grow food in your front yard, that's for sure. So that's pretty much all it for our front yard garden update. Just check Koo's face, make sure she's not pulling any funky faces at me. Um, really happy with the way everything's going. The potato's been a bit of a bummer and um, we're now pulling these hay bale beds to pieces so they're being used in other parts of the lawn, uh, lawn, garden. So pretty much we'll call it quits there. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, just pop them in the comments section below and Kira will get back to you, won't you? No, no okay, I'll get back to you. So take it easy and have a great one everyone. Cheers. Whee! There's my beard. <laughs>